2b2t.org is Minecraft's oldest anarchy server. It's a server that's been on the same map since December of 2010 and is over 3.8 terabytes in size and has seen over 200,000 players. And you'd think after all this time the server would be a complete wasteland. But surprisingly, players over the years have created a vast network of easy to navigate highways, roads, paths, and tunnels for traveling. The server has highways in the overworld, the nether, and even the end. 2B2T's most famous highways are found in the nether. Highways that start at 0, zero and go out each of the four cardinal directions and can take players all the way to the overworld world border at 30 million blocks. Players typically travel these highways by horse, pig, or just walking. Now this video is not about the highways that everybody knows about, like the nether highways, the diagonals, or even the southern canal. This is about some of the lesser known roads that probably 99% of the players have never seen or heard of before. Hey everybody, Baron Dome here, and welcome to the first of hopefully a couple series uh, that I have planned for 2B2T, uh, where I explore some not so common you know, highways, paths, roads uh, that I've discovered over the last couple years. And I thought, uh, it'd be time to show some of them off. And the reason I started this one is because the this path that I'm going to show you right now, I, I found uh, a couple weeks ago, and it brought back uh, some memories of us, some other different paths and highways that I found, uh, you know, through my travels and exploring. And I thought it'd be best to, you know, combine all those, go back, revisit them, and uh, kind of tour them. The I, I'm not actually on 2B2T right now because... Uh, as some of you may still know, 2B2T is still too unstable. Uh, it's constantly lagging out, uh, dropping. The server is going offline for sometimes minutes to hours to half a day. And it's just it's just too unstable to try to do a full recording. Uh, so a couple weeks ago, I came to the location and I did a, I did a world download. It took me about three hours. Uh, not because of the distance, but because the server kept lagging out, kept getting disconnected, it was shut down for a couple hours. So it's, it's, it can be very uh, nerve-wracking to try to do uh, videos now on Tubi just because of the ridiculous lag, the, the server going offline. Uh, so slash rant on that. Uh, so I have a world download. That lets me easily explore the world download. And I can kind of pick things out. We don't have to worry about lag. We can just explore it. I can fly around and show you some things. So uh, uh, one thing to note, 2B2T, its render distance is only uh, five chunks instead of the normal vanilla of 10. So my world download is only a five chunk radius. And I've set my, my current render distance to only five. So you'll see basically what I saw when I did this world download. Uh, so when I get started, you're looking around right now, you, you can see maybe there's this bomb path, and you're probably wondering where the heck I am. Uh, you might be able to see from the disarray, I am close to spawn. So this, this path that I'm going to explore and show you guys is very close to spawn. Um, but surprisingly, uh, when I traveled it, there was not that many signs on it, or the signs that were of people that found it. I couldn't find any that said who built this, when it was built. It was a lot of questions of like, who built this? How long is this going to go? Uh, but I'm going to tell you, it pretty much starts really close. Uh, right behind me, you'll see that's actually one of the cardinal directions. And it starts really close. So the, the path that we are on today, this is the flower path. This flower path, it's zero, zero, or not really zero, zero, but zero. Uh, one of the zeros is right there, and it's literally like hundred off the the main one of the main highways in the overworld and this flower path goes about 13,000 blocks so we're gonna go explore it we're gonna see what we can find uh, but mainly it's it's to show you that there's other highways out there that you can explore and see uh, other than the main nether highways or the overworld highways it's just it's not really it makes a path easier it's just something interesting to see and that someone made this. So uh, let's get going. And I am in uh, game mode one right now. I am in creative since this is a world download. So I don't have to worry about hunger. I don't have to worry about eating. It's on peaceful mode. There's going to be no bobs. So let's get going. So the whole trail is what you're going to pretty much see here. It's leaves on both sides. 
and flowers down the middle. And the majority of the flowers are either going to be uh, poppies or the dandelions. There is a small section that's some of the double high flowers, but for the majority, it's it's these types of flowers. And I was really wondering how long this, this whole trail was going to be. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be this long. Uh, but the fact that it goes from, you know, one direction to almost 13,000 blocks out is incredible. It's, 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 a, <laughs> it kind of amazes me. Uh, but the fact that that's, this has been built and it's pretty much untouched. So here's our first sign. If ever a whiz there was. I like that. Yep, here's some poppies right here. Oh, we've got some more signs right here. <laughs> poppies, poppies, poppies. The Cold One JC was here in 2017. Any of you know who the Cold One JC? Uh, if you've any watched my my old videos from uh, back in Hammerbeam when Hammerbeam was griefed, he was the guy I PVP'd uh, at Hammerbeam. If ever oh was <laughs> if ever oh ever a whiz there was, where does this end? Well, it's 13k out. But yeah, there's just this whole trail is just incredible. So you can tell it was built after the snow, because a lot of the older biomes, they have this weird mixture of different biomes that overlap. So I think this was built after the biome reverted to a normal biome. Because there's no snow in here, so I don't think this particular area has snow. And I think this particular area reverted to uh, an ocean biome, even though it's not really an ocean biome. There's a bear tree off to the right. Oh, we're coming. I see some glass up ahead. Oh, that's interesting. So it's a sand tower. With jack lanterns on top. And it looks like this is where they had the. Use the furnaces with the sand right here to make the glass. So they were using everything locally that they had. They don't. It doesn't look like they brought too much with them. They just used anything that was local. And I never did check this out. There was a pathway of uh, rails that went that way. I never did finish checking that out. Maybe that'll be one for the other videos. And now this is where we're going over the ocean. So, yeah, they had to put every single piece of dirt down. They had to get that up. So they didn't have a silk touch, because if they had silk touch, this would all be grass. And no one's been here long enough for allowing to grass to spread. So, yeah, I don't think they had silk touch tools when getting this. They had at least shears, obviously, to get the leaves. What's really interesting is every couple hundred they'll have the, like these little stations they'll have like a, a crafting table and a chest I think what it was is they would uh, you know collect all the resources they needed from an area deposit it you know work on it and then uh, continue working thanks for some of the items I'll give you any so beautifully <laughs> I didn't open up every single chest when I did the world download so World downloads will always be empty. Uh, the chests, unless you actually open them when you do the world download. So, fortunately, this world download has none of that information. But I honestly didn't expect to find that much in any of them. Anyway, oh, a little structure here. Most of it destroyed. That's pretty cool. Cool. They had a whole sky area up there. Nice. Alright, we're about 5,200 out. Ooh, we've got some towers up here. Nice, kind of random. Couple blocks probably mined out. 
probably someone passed and they wanted him. The rest are still there. Oh, come up to an ocean. Oh, we got some chunk errors too. Oh, they put some glowstone there. Cool. Oh, you can tell this is an old ocean. You'll see the, the air pockets off to the right. That was actually a, a, a bug in one of the ver older versions. I can't remember what it was. But when the ocean would generate uh, pockets of about three to four air bubbles would form <laughs> uh, like that. Uh, but if you went in there and you uh, did a block update in there, uh, all the water would fill in. Right, we're heading back into some chunk errors. All right, and this is the part where I was saying that there is a section with double flowers. So there's no more single at this part. They're just doing double for some odd reason. And then it's going to go right back to the single flowers. If anything, I think it would have been easier to do double flowers because uh, you can use bone meal on double flowers. And then it, uh, you get an infinite amount. So if you had a skeleton grinder, you could have easily made thousands of double flowers in no time. Nope. And now we're right back to the poppies and the dandelions. Alright, we're about 10k now. So we're getting close to the end. Just went over a long section with... A uh, long section over the ocean with no flowers, but some more flowers now. And then uh, coming upon this kind of cool build, we're going to go check out. So I really love when people build into chunk errors. It's really awesome. Now let's go check out these signs. Oh, I was here Christmas Eve. Built by wood panels. Cool. A lot of 2018s. October, October, November's. September. Got one melon. I have seed and another seed right there. Uh, yeah, I don't think I saved these. But yeah, nice little stopover. Oh, yeah, actually, we got a bunch of food right here. If you ever need some food, there you go. Okay, we're about 11,000 down the path now. We're coming up near the end. This is the part where the path starts uh, unraveling. So from this part on, there's no more hedges, no more leaves. It's just the flower path. So at least they still did the dirt. They still did the flowers from this point on. So we're going through another ocean chunk error. And you're going to kind of see where it starts, uh, parts of the whole trail start unraveling. Either people destroyed this part, uh, or the, the maker just ran out of parts to do it. They started running low on dirt. Obviously, there's no more leaves. Uh, the end, to be continued. Very cool. Seems to keep going. So it does keep going, but you can tell the the quality of the trail is a lot worse than what it was. Now, at least the dirt path is here. But now... Is that the end? October 13th. Someone started doing paths, shovels, but that didn't go too far. And then a couple flowers. You can kind of tell there's still kind of someone's still kind of got maybe a trail going on, but they just don't have the resources for this part. So you can tell there's all oh, the snow is here. So either we're in a snowy biome or they just didn't clear the trail when they put the flowers down. So we're still going. And here we're coming up to the end. Seems like the actual end for now. 
October 10, 2018, the end. So here we are at the end of the flower trail, 12,000 blocks. That's actually how long it is. I just did the whole thing. Long trail, lots of walking. Uh, very cool that this is uh, pretty much an unknown thing that a lot of people have probably gone by or, you know, you go, a lot of people travel through the nether so they never get to explore a lot of the overworld, uh, particularly things like this. Unless you're actually traveling a little bit off one of the highways, you're never gonna find this. Uh, even if you're going diagonal, unless you go off the diagonal, you're never gonna hit this. So this was a very cool find and it's gonna lead me into uh, a lot more videos like this that I have planned that I've already been uh, recording that I've already got world downloads for the locations that I want to show off. So I really want to thank you guys again for watching this video of the flower trail. And uh, thanks again for watching. And I'll catch y'all later. See ya.